There is no man more dangerous in a position of power than he who refuses to accept as a working truth that all a man does should make for rightness and soundness, that even the fixing of a tariff rate must be moral. Ida Tarbell was born November 5, 1857, the first child of Franklin Sumner and Elizabeth McCullough Tarbell in tiny Hatch Hollow near Wattsburg, Pennsylvania. Ida's father lost the family farm in the 1850s depression and moved the young family to Rouseville and then Titusville in the heart of oil country, where he worked as an oil tank manufacturer. Young Ida spent her days playing in the oil fields among a landscape of towering oil derricks. Hardship struck the family once again as her father's business was crushed by John D. Rockefeller's Southern Improvement Company, the predecessor of Standard Oil. Growing up, Ida showed incredible promise as a student. She graduated from Titusville High School with highest academic honors and earned her master's degree from Allegheny College, where she was the only woman in her freshman class. In 1887, Tarbell began working for the Chautauquan, the magazine of the Chautauqua Institute. And in 1891, she went on to study at the prestigious Sorbonne in Paris. While in Paris, Tarbell met Sam McClure, who offered her a job with his new publication. She returned home in 1894 and began writing for McClure's magazine, where her pieces on Napoleon and Lincoln nearly doubled the magazine's circulation. By now a popular biographer, Tarbell turned her talents to an issue much closer to home, the injustices perpetrated by the Standard Oil Company. Through years of careful research and tireless interviews, Tarbell produced a series of 19 articles for McClure's on the secretive operations of Standard Oil, including conspiracy, exploitation, and espionage. Later compiled into The History of the Standard Oil Company, it was an expose unlike any other in the history of journalism. Tarbell's writing spurred a hard-edged, no-nonsense, trust-busting campaign by President Roosevelt, which led to the forced dismantling of the Standard Oil monopoly in May of 1911. Ida Tarbell, a farmer's daughter from rural Pennsylvania, had brought the biggest business conglomerate of the day to its knees. Tarbell went on to be co-owner and editor of American Magazine, a successful biographer, and a popular lecturer on the art of biographical history. She died January 6, 1944 in Bridgeport, Connecticut at the age of 87. At a time when American women were restricted to a small handful of professions and could not even vote to help shape the future of their country, Ida Tarbell pioneered a new path, standing firm in the pursuit of truth and justice.